Looking for a job in Flagstaff? It can be challenging. In this video, I'm gonna give you the top 10 employers that you should be looking at when considering a move to Flagstaff. What's up everybody, it's Jason with the Schaefer Real Estate Team here in Flagstaff, Arizona. And if this is your first time on the channel and you wanna know everything there is to know about working, eating, sleeping, living, playing right here in Flagstaff, then make sure you tap that subscribe button. And so that way you're notified every time we do a new video. And honestly, we get people calling every day who are relocating here and we absolutely love it. So if you're thinking about moving or relocating here or coming to stay, make sure you give us a call, shoot us a text, email, pigeon carrier, however you want to send, give us, get a hold of us. Uh, we just want you to know that we got your back when it comes uh, to moving right here to Flagstaff. So let's talk, let's get into the video today. I'm going to be going over the top 10 employers uh, here in Flagstaff. Let's start and we're going to kind of go starting from the largest down to the smallest. And the first one's going to be Northern Arizona University, right? Northern NAU is like a little city within the city here in Flagstaff. They employ over 2,500 people. Definitely the largest employer here. Uh, they have a variety of jobs, obviously professors. They have high-end high, high end positions, all the way down to janitorial positions. But they do. They are the largest employer. They have great jobs, great benefits. There are always people transferring uh, in and out. So we do actually help a lot of folks that are uh, relocating uh, to come work to NA, at NAU. So we see it a lot. Definitely want to have NAU at the top of your list. All right, number two is gonna be Flagstaff Medical Center. I think enough said there, the medical industry is always growing. There's always a need for nurses, doctors, uh, x-ray techs, the list goes on and on. And FMC is constantly expanding uh, their, their capacities and what they can do are, are, are medical technologies are catching up to big cities as far as the things that we could do here in Flagstaff now. So they're always, they're always, in, they're always looking for, for more people, always hiring. And one thing I'll tell you, give you a little insight about uh, Flagstaff Medical Center is they have purchased some property out by Fort Tut Hill in the county, which is south of Flagstaff, where they have some plans to build a, a much larger medical facility. Uh, the one that's here in Flagstaff, they've definitely outgrown. But the new one south of town, it should be larger. It should be more high tech. It should, and they should be employing a ton more people to staff that, that at hospital. I imagine it's gonna be some time before that happens. We're just in the planning stages, so five years from now, 10 years from now, definitely could see that as being a long-term runway for, for employee status, but something to consider when moving to Flagstaff. All right, number three on our list is W.L. Gore. W.L. Gore has been around for a long time, and a lot of uh, folks that I, kids I went to high school with, their parents worked at W.L. Gore, it's a fantastic place to work. They've got great employee benefits, great pay, uh, and they have a lot of jobs that you don't need that don't require a college education to get started over there. Uh, they, it is one of their largest headquarters here in, in the West, is right here in Flagstaff. So you definitely want to put that up on your list. Now, what do, what, well, let's talk about a little bit what they do. Gore, a lot of people might have seen like Gore-Tex like in their jackets and waterproof gear and a lot of outdoor stuff like that, but they also do a lot in the medical industry, in the biomechanical engineering field, stints and hearts. Uh, you know, I don't know all the details of it, but I do know they do some pretty incredible stuff in the medical field. So W.L. Gore, definitely want to put that one on the list. Number four, one of the largest employers here in Flagstaff is actually Flagstaff Unified School District. So you can imagine we've We've done some videos on how many schools. There's quite a few. There is quite a few public schools and charter schools here in Flagstaff. So FUSD, not only do they do that, but they have their uh, admin building, their administrative office on 4th Street. They employ approximately 600 people. So quite a few people uh, work in the school district that live here in Flagstaff. I know they're always hiring and looking for teachers. I will say this. I know talking with some 
teachers and have have, have helped some of them buy and sell houses and relocate here. Uh, it can be challenging because the pay scale is definitely on the lower end for teachers here in Flagstaff, unfortunately. I hope that changes soon, but time will tell. But Flagstaff Unified School District is number four on our list. Number five is going to be Coconino County. Believe it or not, Coconino County is the second largest county in the United States and actually is almost the same size as Rhode Island. So as you can imagine, a county that large, there's there's a lot that goes on here. There's uh, You have... You have uh, administrative roles, planning, zoning, engineering, things like that. But you also, we have a lot. There's a lot of county maintained roads in a county this large, so if it's that might be a good job some for someone who's maybe considering living outside of the Flagstaff area a little bit. Uh, county has some excellent jobs, great, great pay, great benefits. Uh, they currently employ uh, about around 1,500 people, so quite a large group of people. Lots of opportunity there. Coconino County, great pay, great benefits. Number six, we're going to stay right with government municipalities and we're going to go with the city of Flagstaff. Uh, they employ approximately 600, 650 people. So there, there's going to be a, variety of, a wide variety of jobs that are involved there too. And they're going to have great pay, great benefits. I know my brother is actually just applying for a job there uh, now to work on some uh, maintenance crews. Um, so... City of Flagstaff, 600 and some odd employees. That's number six on our list. Number seven, we're going to jump back into the private sector, Nestle Purina. Um, so on the east side of Flagstaff, you'll notice a very large, tall building. Uh, it stands up. You can't miss it if you're over there. That is actually Nestle Purina. And they make, uh, at that particular plant, they make uh, tons of tons of, of dog and cat food there. So... Uh, there's a variety, wide variety of jobs there. I have a couple of friends I actually went to high school with that uh, are getting ready to retire from there. They put in their 25 years, and so they work on a seniority. They've got great pay, great shifts, great benefits. I've got a lot of people that really enjoy working at Nestle Purina, so great place to consider if you're moving from out of state. They get a lot. They do get some transfers that come in, but uh, good place to good good area to start. Uh, looking for a place to, to work would be Nestle Purina. Number eight, staying in the private sector still, is going to be Joy-Con. And as the title uh, implies, they make ice cream cones. Joy-Con is one of the largest manufacturer of ice cream cones in the world. They actually make ice cream cones for uh, all the fast food restaurants, all the ones in the store you see. They make just about all of them. And their, ice, their, their plant is located actually at the Flagstaff Palladium Airport. Uh, actually, you got to be a part of the uh, building in, on that their giant warehouse. Uh, it's, it's, I don't know how many square feet we've added onto that uh, in the last 25 years, but it's it's been large. And they employ uh, around 100 employees there. Uh, no college. not uh, You can start there without a college education. And they have great pay, great benefits. So Joy-Con, number eight on Get to number nine, we're going to kind of jump back into the same uh, category as W.L. Gore. It's going to be Machine Solutions at number nine. Machine Solutions, they're very similar to Gore, ex except they don't do the outdoor gears. They do uh, biomechanical or, you know, uh, biomechanical engineering, excuse me. So they do a lot of stuff with catheters and different, different, medical, uh, different medical things. I'm not so familiar with it. Everything that goes on there, and all, I don't know all the terms, but I do know a lot of people that work out there. They absolutely love working for the company, I, and they have great pay, really good pay, and really good benefits, and it's a great place to work. I don't hear anything negative about them. Machine Solutions, number nine. Number 10 on the list, this is a big, big employer, but you're not going to find this one on Google when you research this. This one's going to be BNSF Railway. So the railway... Flagstaff has a railroad running right through it. There's 75 trains that come through Flagstaff every day. So they, you got to imagine there's an engineer and a conductor on each one of those trains. So that's a lot of employees right there. Not to mention the amount of maintenance that goes that is involved with the railroad system. Uh, so a lot of people, uh, even a lot of friends that start, they, they work as a conductor on the railway. That's some great starting pay. Uh, you can make upwards of six figures almost right off the bat, depending on your seniority and how much you want to work. 
the unfortunate thing is, is once you do get called in, you do have to drive to Winslow. And depending on where you go from there, so you go to New Mexico, uh, I believe it's Berlin, New Mexico, or you end up in Needles. So if that's if you're a conductor, but they do have some maintenance positions uh, that are that are in there as well. Great pay, great benefits, BNSF Railway number 10 to top us off. All right, guys, that tops off our list of our top 10 employers right here in Flagstaff. I hope this list gives you a good start when thinking about making a move here to Flagstaff. And if you guys have any questions, reach out. I'll leave some links in the show description. We'll see you on the next video.